inside of here which is where our crankshaft rides in the block this is the part that really got messed up scarred up pretty bad um, we assumed that the oil pump had quit actually pumping out good which belongs there uh, so we weren't getting enough oil flow to keep all these journals uh, slick <clears throat> so what I'd done because I was going to try a wheel cylinder hone, but I thought that possibly due to the shape of the fingers on the hone, that it would make it like oblong. So what I've done was I grabbed some valve grinding compound. And I took and I smeared it all inside this area of the block for the crankshaft and then I put the crankshaft in as far as it would go before it would stop before it would start getting tight so I just slowly worked it one way slowly worked it the other way it, it took a little while um, you know an hour or so trying to get this smooth back out um, but I also would do it from both directions from this side and from the inside and eventually I finally got it to where it had smoothed this surface back out without actually removing any major metal or causing any hopefully spec problems um, but at this point uh, you guys can see this thing is spinning right freely now so <clears throat> um, that's a, a one thing that you guys can keep in mind of, of possibly getting away with you know smoothing up some surfaces without having to go to any crazy length or even possibly getting a new engine now uh, this is not necessarily going to fix your problem because initially the oil pump is the suspect of being the problem here this is just a, a trying to clear up the spots that the crankshaft and the piston ride on and stuff like that which i have gone and and uh, smoothed out the crank surface where the piston connecting rod hooks to <clears throat> um, so yeah that's where we're at now i'm about to slap this piston back in um gonna put the camshaft back in and then uh, hopefully my oil pump shows up today I'm going to throw the connecting rod back on and then uh, get that camshaft put in and get this torque down and have it ready to finish off here shortly. Alright guys, so here's your camshaft for a club car. Alright, so <clears throat> real important thing to know about the club car, a couple of them, uh, here is your timing dot with an arrow indicating so there we go all right so on the back side of the cam the shaft itself has this slot in it that slot is designed for the impeller of the oil pump it has to slide in to this camshaft when you're putting it in so basically if you misalign this or it doesn't slide into this slot you're gonna have major problems when you go to try to crank this thing most likely it won't actually go in without it falling into this slot here in the camshaft so just keep that in mind when you guys are putting these back together as well all right so there is the crankshaft camshaft balance block and piston 
all back in now and you can see here that the dots are pointed towards each other so we are in time <clears throat> inside the block and the good thing about the club car is is that that is the only place that you have to worry about timing uh, because when you put your tappets back in which are the two little flat surfaces that push on the camshaft lobes which then push your push rods up and down okay there you go that works your rocker arms in the valve train which opens and closes your valves uh, so at this point um, I am going to work on getting this head put back on which is pretty straightforward six bolts torque them down uh, and, and you should be good to go at that point all right guys there's the cylinder head reinstalled <clears throat> keep in mind that you want to torque the head bolts at 220 to 240 on my side I use uh, inch pounds for my torque wrench so I'm doing 220 or 240 inch pounds <clears throat> um, also keep in mind that you're going to want to go back and readjust your valves reset the lash they get pretty loose regardless uh, when you take it apart so now to just finish on and uh, hopefully get this thing put back together there you got so there's our side cover installed ready to go gotta put the dipstick back in it <clears throat> and then what i'll do here finally to seal the deal is get the oil pump in and if you can see there there is the slot for the camshaft and the impeller slides right into that slot there, right in that center hole. <clears throat> that impeller has to be in there or it's never gonna pump oil properly and then you're gonna wind up back in the same boat you were, so. All right guys, so now that all the bench work is done, on this club car motor we've been working on here um, the final step was just to get it back in the cart get it bolted down to the engine carrier uh, get it bolted to the back part there because it's two bolts in the back side of the motor and four in the bottom uh, got our starter generator hooked back up there got our exhaust system hooked up uh, got our clutches back on I uh, got our ground straps put back together, got all our throttle cables, I got the carburetor. Uh, I just got to get the airbox put back on and get a spark plug in it and throw some fluid in it. And uh, we'll be ready to try and crank this thing up and, and see how she goes. So. There you go folks first start up and we appreciate y'all watching our videos hopefully this video has helped some of you guys out out there um, of course if you have any questions you can leave a comment uh, be sure and y'all hit that subscribe button hit the bell for any new videos that pops up and uh, just give us a call if we can help you out with these motors guys and uh, that's it for this one y'all have a good day